The graphic user interface, or GUI for short, is probably the most watched feature on any airline IFE system. Get the design right and your passengers will love you. Get it wrong and it can be a source of immense frustration. Western Outdoor Interactive, WOI for short, is dedicated to ensuring your GUI is the best in the business. It's not just the GUI either, they can offer games, they can offer city guides, even magazines. To find out more about WOI, please welcome my special guest here on the PME interview today, Samir Tandulka, Vice President, Product Planning and Design. Samir Tandulka, welcome to the PME interview. It's a pleasure to have you here in Dublin. Let's talk about WOI, Western yeah. Outdoor Interactive. Um, let's start with the company itself. When was it founded? Where is it based? And what do you do? Okay, uh, Western Outdoor Interactive was founded in 1996. Uh, the founder is uh, Anil Nanavati, and uh, I think uh, the, we started being an in-flight entertainment uh, focused uh, company. And that's what we continue to be. We're based in uh, Mumbai. And how many people do you employ now? Uh, we are about 200 people now. Really? Yes. 200? Yeah. That's, that's pretty incredible. And what do you do? What, what area of in-flight entertainment do you specialize in? When we started, we, uh, we started building the, uh, the GUI uh, software for, uh, for in-flight entertainment. The GUI? The GUI, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we continued to do that for a long time. And as uh, we moved uh, uh, doing this, uh, we got opportunities to build uh, little apps. We started building games. And uh, we, uh, you know, we kept building games and applications uh, more like a hobby for a long mm -hmm. time, uh, till uh, three, four years back when we realized we have a huge catalog of about 40, 50 games and we need to be serious about it. And then we stopped and we said, let's uh, look at this, whether we want to be in this business uh, seriously or don't. And then that's where we uh, sort of said, okay, we want to uh, give it a shot. And we, we had about four or five customers then uh, who were flying with our games. And uh, today we have about uh, 45 uh, airlines that fly our games and applications. That's very impressive again. Yes. I saw on your website that your company mission statement is to be the best at what we do and to have fun with it. And literally, you're taking that mission statement <laughs> oh, to yeah. heart, aren't you? Yes, we, we do. We do. Let's go through the whole process okay. right from day one. Let's assume our airline, our hypothetical airline, has just placed an order for a big wide-bodied aircraft from Airbus or Boeing, mm -hmm. and this aircraft will be coming with in-flight entertainment in seatback screens. Where do you get involved in the process? We work with a lot of uh, OEMs, so we, we know uh, what systems are going to be and what are the capabilities of the system. And we uh, go and pitch our games and applications to, to airlines. So, when you say OEMs, you yeah, mean? Panasonic, Thales, uh, we work with uh, uh, Zodiac and uh -huh. Digicore. So, so the hardware suppliers. The hardware suppliers, <coughs> uh -huh. yeah. And when the airline decides uh, to go with a particular hardware supplier, uh, you need to be, your software or your games and applications need to be compliant with those uh, systems that they have on board. Uh -huh. So we have to work with OEMs to uh, go and integrate our uh, software. How much choice does the airline have in terms of the design of a GUI? I think they, they have immense uh, uh, choice. A lot of times it's the time pressure that stops airlines or OEMs from uh, you know, going forward and making, uh, doing something new or asking for new features. But as far as the s systems are in place, I think there is there's tremendous uh, stuff that you can do that probably is not done even today. Now, do you do the actual design of the GUI or do you work with 
outside agencies? We do both. Uh, there are, uh, we have a design studio uh, and we've, been, we've delivered about 40 odd uh, airline interactive GUIs. But we also work with airlines and their design house to build the software. So if an airline is working with a design house and wants to, for example, uh, ensure the GUI uh, looks nice alongside the website or, or the in-flight magazine, yeah. that works well for you too? Yes. How many airlines do you have as customers now? How many airlines uh, feature your product? For our games and applications, we uh, it's running on about 45 uh, uh, airlines. Uh -huh. And uh, the uh, GUI software is uh, flying on We've lost count, actually. Really? Yeah. Is that number? Yeah, yeah. I think it's about 60, 70. And we've uh, done their interactives over and over again, so over many years, for the mm -hmm. last uh, 17 years. How has the design of GUIs, how, how has that evolved over the years you've been doing it? The way uh, hardware has changed, evolved from you know, those six inch analog monitors uh, to the Android capacitive touch displays that we have today. Over last, uh, especially over last, uh, I think three to five years, uh, because of the display technology, the innovations in the display technology, uh, GUI has changed dramatically. You can, it has become easier in terms of for passengers to access it because touch, I think, uh, helps. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the connectivity in and more processing power, you can do more so that there, there is uh, more that you can do and that sometimes complicates the GUI. What about the new hardware systems that are being introduced uh, as we speak, EX3 and the Talus Avant? Yeah. Uh, and indeed, Zodiac Rave, do these offer new opportunities for you as software yes, designers? Yes, tremendously, tremendously. Because, uh, same, because they are the latest display technologies. What about partnerships? Let's talk about that. You, you work together with other companies, don't you, to yeah. provide particular services. Tell us about that, Samir. With our uh, games and applications business, we, we have uh, content partners and uh, uh, we have recently uh, tied up with TripAdvisor to get their city guides on plane. TripAdvisor. Yeah, yeah. TripAdvisor. Uh, then we have our uh, uh, Aero magazines, which we have a uh, tie with Maxter. We have a tie with the uh, press reader for a Aero newspaper uh, product. And we are also building a, a terminal map the, called Aero Terminals. Uh, and that we have typed with MyCello. The, so they are the, uh, they provide the uh, maps data for terminals and we have been packaged it for uh, in-flight entertainment. And what does the future hold for WOI? We still think uh, in-flight entertainment with all the innovations that are happening with the technology is going to uh, provide you opportunities uh, that that are unimaginable even today. Um, just with the wireless uh, coming in and passenger devices uh, being used for delivering entertainment mm -hmm. is going to be interesting. What specifically interests us is that is a section where traditionally in-flight entertainment has been only about movies and music and say games. Mm -hmm. but with uh, passengers, more and more passengers using their own device on plane, we believe that a lot of passenger delivery services can be, uh, can be integrated within this environment. We are trying to work on a content management system that is catered to address uh, in-flight entertainment specific needs because you need to be able to uh, manage the bandwidths judiciously use uh, the resources that you have to, to reach mm -hmm. data to the plane. And we're trying to build something, a uh, content management system that uh, specifically addresses in-flight entertainment needs. And we see that using that, uh, a lot of 
passenger delivery services like meal menu and shopping and, yeah. uh, and say even reading material uh, that would uh, see its uh, next uh, say next version on planes yes yeah and that's where, what we've gearing up to would you have something to show people at the apex expo oh, yes, in anaheim yes 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 we should we should we so should have should a whole by. range of yes they, uh, this is uh, an open <laughs> invitation to all people to come and stop by at the apex yeah excellent so yeah, it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you so much and good thank luck you, for the future Steve. thank you so yes. much Coming up, Steve Harvey brings you another informative and interesting interview with a leading professional from the ranks of our in-flight entertainment industry. Don't miss it. That's next time on the PME Interview.